We all understand the pivotal role of our queen bee. She's the heart and soul of the hive, and without her presence or her egg-laying capabilities, the hive and the entire colony can face dire consequences. Beekeepers should always be attuned to the presence of the queen during hive visits, but have you recently checked on yours? Interestingly, during October or November, a queen's egg laying may decrease or even halt completely, despite adequate pollen stores in the hive's combs. Especially in cold winters, the colony faces challenges. In milder winter climates or subtropical conditions, this egg laying hiatus can be more pronounced. However, concern should arise if, outside of the colder months, your queen bee ceases her egg laying. So, let's delve deeper into the reasons and remedies. A honeybee colony consists of around 60,000 workers, several hundred drones, and just one queen bee. Her primary responsibility? Laying eggs. The colony's activities ebb and flow with the seasons. The transition from September to December marks a new beginning for the hive. During this period, nectar and pollen intake drops, reducing brood rearing and overall hive population. Older bees diminish in number based on the age and condition of the queen, leaving younger bees to weather the winter. As field nectar dwindles, drones are expelled from the hive to conserve honey for winter sustenance. This is also when the queen typically ceases her egg laying, a natural part of the bee life cycle. Sometimes, your queen might take a brood break to control brood disease spread. This temporary halt shouldn't alarm you. Yet, if you notice an absence of eggs and brood outside the September to December window, it might signal a queenless colony. Astonishingly, this can happen even with a present queen, especially if she's no longer fertile. So, what should you do if your queen bee isn't laying eggs? First, remain calm. Regular hive inspections give you ample time to address potential issues. If you manage multiple hives, Transferring a frame with eggs or young brood from another hive to the queenless one can be a simple solution. This encourages the hive to start queen cells, unless the hive has been queenless for over 30 days, leading to an influx of laying workers. If the hive has been without a queen for too long, purchasing a new queen might be the only solution. Introducing her has its own timeline, so being aware of the hive's condition is crucial. In conclusion, During hive inspections, prioritizing the presence and health of your queen bee is paramount. Early detection of a queenless hive can be the key to its survival. Keeping notes of each inspection can ensure you never overlook the vital signs. Whether you decide to introduce a purchased queen or allow the colony to produce its own, addressing queenlessness promptly is essential.